everyone! With the amazing total solar eclipse coming on April 8th, 2024, I wanted to share a super cool way to see the sun safely. All you need is a pair of binoculars. I made a quick YouTube short about it, but here's a deeper look at the whole process. This is called a binocular projection setup. It's incredibly simple. Mount these binoculars on a tripod, cover one of the lenses, and then position a piece of white paper behind the eyepiece to capture the projected image of the sun you could do two projections of the sun. In some cases, that might look really cool too. I have the Orion 7x50 Scenix binoculars. They get 7x magnification. So for holding the binoculars in the right orientation, if you're lucky, your binoculars have a tripod attachment point. I use this small rig. I'm not sponsored, but I really like this brand. They're just kind of an articulating arm that lets you hold things. And in this case, the binoculars in a specific orientation. Another thing that'll help is putting a sheet of paper or cardboard or something. In this case, I'm just using the leftover Amazon recycling bag and cut a small hole in it that'll fit over the lens of the binoculars and that'll block out a lot of the extra light from the sun and make it a little bit easier to see the actual projection on the piece of white paper. Never look through the binoculars directly at the sun. We're only using them to project the image. It can cause permanent eye damage if you look at the sun directly, either with or without binoculars, honestly. Pointing binoculars at the sun can be tricky. Use the shadow of the binoculars as a guide. When the shadow's smallest, you're lined up. Everyone's binoculars will probably be slightly different, so you'll have to find your own focus point. Uh, there is some fun math and optics behind that, but in practice, you just kind of move the paper around until you see a spot where the sun seems to get into rough focus, and then you have your sweet spot to do the final focusing. To figure out how far back the paper needs to go, just kind of move it back until you start to see the sun get into focus a little bit. The edges will get a bit sharper. Place the piece of paper there. You can then do the final bit of fine-tuning focus with the binoculars themselves. Focus your binoculars until the sun's edge is sharp. Then you'll start to see the sunspots and you can use them to get your final fine focus. If you move the binoculars around slightly, you'll see that the sun moves and the sunspots move with it, unlike the smudges. Check out these photos I took of the sun's projection. With a little practice, you can get some awesome pictures like these. Check out those sunspots. During the eclipse, you'll actually see the moon's shadow moving across the sun. I'm really excited to see this. It's gonna be awe-inspiring. Oh, I'm so excited. I also took some pictures with a camera uh, and a 600 millimeter zoom lens. I'll put them up here just for reference. Looks so cool with that too. You can actually get pretty close with this projection setup. Let me know if you have any questions about the solar eclipse. If you end up using this technique, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to see your photos or videos as well. It took me a little bit to get used to it and figuring out that final focus length. But once you kind of get it, it's so good. This was really fun to do. I'm glad I could share this with you all. Good luck with the solar eclipse and I hope you get to see it in all its glory. I'm really looking forward to getting some good photos and videos of this eclipse. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to this channel. I'm looking forward to posting more videos of the solar eclipse, especially the video of the actual eclipse through the camera with the lens setup. I can't wait to do that. Have a great day, y'all, and see you next time.